Yo, what's up everyone? It's Isaac and Selian here, and for the next 30 days, I'm going to start off the year with a little resolution. It's to make a video every day talking about something. If you've looked at the thumbnail and whatever the title is going to be for this video, you probably are seeing something sort of clickbaity, something a little bit ridiculous. But whatever it is, I wholeheartedly believe in it. Now, I, I think today's episode is going to be called something along the lines of If you drink alcohol, here's why you deserve to die, or something like that. Obviously, I don't mean that, but I do want to say that, sincerely, I am kind of bothered by people who drink alcohol, or at least excessively. I think that people can be extremely productive if they set their mind to things, but there's certain vices that just sort of slow us down. We all have them. I think that there's a lot of things out there that are productive uses of our time, but there's certain things that are just sort of habits, that are redundant, that they're a waste of time. And one of those things is people who go out drinking, especially if you drink alone. I just see that there's so many people out there who turn to a substance. And I guess it's gotten to a point now where I meet a lot of people and if they drink, I think that they're a bit of a loser. And I know that that's not exactly fair because I know that there's a lot of accomplished people who drink. And I don't know, like, I actually literally do not get why a lot of people drink. I haven't seen the appeal. It tastes like shit. People say, oh yeah, it all tastes like shit. That's why you need to find alcohol that doesn't, like, taste like alcohol. Well, why does it need to be alcoholic then? Because if I'm going to drink a beverage, it's going to be either for the taste or because I need to be hydrated. I want you to stop for a second and name one benefit of drinking. Like, seriously, just name one singular benefit. It makes you feel good? Is that really a benefit? Because jerking off makes you feel good. Playing video games makes you feel good. Killing somebody- No, I'm kidding. If you think that you're a psychopath. There are tons of things that can make you feel good. That doesn't mean that they are good. Like, you need to have some sort of a quality. Something that it adds to your life. I can't think of a single thing that alcohol does. Oh, it, it makes me more confident so I can talk to people easier. Okay, now maybe you want to do that because it'll help you collect a girl or something like that. The confidence. Man, I need the confidence so that I can go ask out a girl. Well, after you've got a girlfriend, then you just don't have to drink anymore, right? Because if you get anxiety asking people out, then after you've drank so that you can ask out your girl, once you're with her, there's just no reason to drink, right? No, people keep fucking drinking. It's an, it's an excuse. It's a, it's a stupid excuse. I need it to help me loosen up. I need it so that I can, like... Be more myself. I just need to be comfortable around other people. So I'm going to insert poison into my body so that I can get to that point. Fucking stupid. Okay, I got somebody in the other room. I'm gonna ask, what is one benefit of drinking alcohol? Yeah, see, there you go. I can't think of a single fucking thing, but people, they want to get plastered. There's people out there that they want to get hammered every night. I know people that they literally do not want to spend time with me because they don't think that I'll drink with them. And, well, they're right. I've only drank maybe two or three times in my life. I think if you were to take all of the beer that I've ever drank and try and put it into one solid container, it wouldn't even fill up one can of beer. Or it'd probably fill up a can, but it wouldn't fill up a bottle. I had half of a bottle of beer one time because a Z-list celebrity who was on on fish tank offered it to me and I was like oh yeah sure okay whatever and then another time I had like half a beer with somebody not even half of it I was grossed out and then I gave the other half to my friend it tastes like shit every single time I try it I'm gonna be like one of those oh don't knock it till you try it people I get a new flavor sensation of gross alcohol tastes like rubbing alcohol that's such an innovative statement. <laughs> Vodka tastes like hand sanitizer or rubbing alcohol. It's just, it's fucking shit. Why do people want to put that in their mouths? I'll tell you why they want to put it in their mouths. Because they want the, uh, the feeling. You know, they want the emotion that comes with it. Now, honestly, I don't know what that emotion is because I've never been drunk. I think the closest to drunk I've ever been is tipsy because one time I thought I'd be funny and steal my friend's Fanta, not knowing that he put not even a shot of vodka in it. I don't know. I was like laughing like a maniac after that. But was it good enough that I would go back and drink it again? No. There's so many people that they're hooked on this. They're hooked on drinking. They're hooked on marijuana. They're hooked on the cocaine. I heard some kids are doing that acid meth stuff too. I don't know, I sound like such a fucking boomer, but I'm thinking about it, and it's just like, I see no constructive purpose in so much of the stuff that people do. There is just so much time on the line for you to want to go out and get drunk. And then some people, they just keep drinking. They just keep drinking and they don't stop. I don't know. I don't get it. I I'll never get it. I hope that I never get it. Because I've got an addictive personality, and that's one of the main reasons why I don't ever want to drink. 
is because I think if I ever find out that it's good or something like that, I'm going to get hooked on it. And maybe that's the philosophy other people need to have. I think we need to spread the philosophy, not that drinking is necessarily bad on its own, because if you tell somebody that, oh, this thing is bad, it just motivates them more to do it if they're the recalcitrant kind of fuck you person. The best way is to sort of tell people, hey, you think you have an addictive personality before they try anything? Because I know that weed is not addictive, but even something like weed can be abused by somebody who has an addictive personality that they make the habits and things that they do into this consistent thing. Like if you turn it into a routine, it's like there's people out there who I'm sure they're alcoholics, not even because their brain is hooked on the substance, but because their routine is to do the drinking. And so as a result, they get like pushed into this state where it's like, well, I got to do this thing because my brain sees the cycle. Or maybe it is entirely a chemical thing and I'm just a moron. But I'm thinking about it based on things that I've done, which do not release serotonin or anything like that. In fact, there are things that are a drag that I don't want to do, but I have to do them because I've just made a habit out of doing it. It alleviates some part of your brain to develop these healthy uh, mannerisms. I don't know. I sound like a complainer, like, oh, you damn drinking people who like drinking and doing the drinks. I don't want to sound like that. I want people to be able to make their own decisions and do the things that they want. And there's definitely people out there who they like the taste of alcoholic beverages. Okay. Uh, you know, all right, I can't argue against that. I'm not going to tell you, oh, fuck off. I'm going to put you in a corner because you don't like the things that I like. Like, I'm not going to be a dick about it. But generally speaking, I do think that there's a certain point in which just drinking, it encourages bad habits and it also ages you up. It makes you look way older. If you are a person who decides to drink, uh, I do not think that you deserve to be dead, but I want you to consider something. How often are you drinking? Are you drinking more than once a week? Because honestly, I would suggest not even drinking once a month. I mean, there are people out there that I know who have been drinking since they were like 18, 19, and some of them are my age, but they look like they're 30. And there's people out there that I know who are in their 30s who did not drink, who they look like they're my age. When you're 30 years old, would you prefer to look so young that they're still asking you to show your ID? Or do you want to be 24 years old and not get ID'd because you look like a gross 40 year old fuck? I've got a real drinking problem. I've been drinking every day. I don't know how old the people watching this are, you know, all five of the people watching this, but wh wherever you are in your life, if you are not an alcoholic currently, consider just not ever drinking because it really doesn't do anything. All it really does is it helps you connect with other people who don't know how to connect with other people. I've noticed that there's some people out there that they're like, oh, well, I need to drink because other people around me drink. And it also allows me to justify my shitty behavior. Have you ever met somebody who wanted to do something really fucking stupid and they got drunk so that they could be like, oh, dude, man, I didn't actually want to do that thing. I was drunk, dude. I was just out of my mind. It's the same thing with people who are high. If they have like some justification to do the stupid thing that they want to do, then they try and make it seem like it's not that big of a deal. Dude, I didn't mean to rape you, man. I was just drunk, dude. I was just drunk, man. Like, fuck off. And there are so many people that are like this. There are so many people who they will get you down. They will try and get inside of your mind and be like, dude, it was the substance, man. It was just the way that I was at that time. Don't even participate in that shit. Don't drink to be on the same level as those people. I'm not saying that not drinking makes you better or anything like that. But if you want to move your life in a better direction than other people, it is generally smart to have control over your autonomy, to be able to look at your goals and see what you want to do and see the road in front of you. But if you're seeing that road with blurry vision, then you're not going to get anywhere. That's why I really don't like when people drink. I just feel like it's not productive. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of money. It makes you fat. You know, that's pretty much all there is to it. The point of this whole video is to say that I think alcohol should be illegal. How many of your friends are dead because of alcoholism?